In this video, I'll explain what is bounce rate in Google Analytics and what is considered a good bounce rate. Arnie, can you demonstrate what is bounce rate? Bounce rate. Tip sweat punch. Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and on this channel, I help website owners to run and grow their online businesses with digital strategy tips, website tutorials, and tool reviews. This metric appears in many Google Analytics reports, like, uh, for example, this one. You can see it there. And also, you have it in this one, and this one, and there's probably another 30 of these where the bounce rate appears. By default, bounce rate measures the percentage of users that land on a page but do not click on anything on the same page. So that means they bounce. For most pages, a high bounce rate is a bad thing. Let me give you an example. Let's say I come from Google search to an article. I read the whole thing for like 15 minutes, but then I leave without clicking on any of the links. GA considers this as a bounce. In the second example, I go to the same website and as soon as I land on the page, I click on the link in the navigation bar and go to another page on the same site. But I leave the whole website in 10 seconds after that. Google counts this as a non-bounce session as I visited another page on the same site. Personally, I find bounce rate a pretty useless metric by itself. For example, if you compare the two examples I gave you just now, it's clear that in the first example, where I spend 15 minutes on the page, is much more valuable than just uh, clicking on something but then leaving immediately. So I advise combining bounce rate with, for example, average session duration. Just keep in mind that bounce rate is a vanity metric, so it's a metric that doesn't directly add to your bottom line, nor does it tell you if the content was useful to the reader. As mentioned, by default, the bounce rate is only counted if the user doesn't click on any internal links on the website. However, if you use Google Tag Manager, you can easily make any action on the website to be counted as a non-bounce. So for example, if someone stays on the website for more than five minutes, you could, you could tell GA that this is a non-bound session, but this is really up to you. The definition is up to you. So now you might be wondering, what is a good bounce rate? Well, it really depends on the type of website and what is on the page. But just to give you some indication, for example, for text heavy articles that most people find from search engines, you would be doing pretty well if you have bounce rate under 75 or 80 percent. On the other hand, for online marketing landing pages, you want to get the bounce rate lower than that. So something closer to 50 to 55 percent. And on your homepage, you want to see a low bounce rate. So something below 20 percent would be really good because usually your home pages are full of links and your priority is to guide the visitor in the right direction. Please note, if you see a bounce rate of 100% and you have some traffic on your website, then you probably have an issue with the tracking of Google Analytics. The same thing goes if the bounce rate is near 0%, so 0 to 1%, then you probably also have a GA tracking code uh, twice on the site or some other issue on there. Because you should have always some bounce, that, that's just normal. Now, if you want to know what is the difference between bounce rate and exit rate in Google Analytics, then check out this first video right here. And if you want to learn tips to lower your bounce rate, then check out the second video right here. Whoosh.